Hello. This coming Sunday is for many congregation the official welcome back Sunday. It's the Sunday when families or people who were at the cottage or on holiday are coming back to regular activities. And very interestingly, the lectionary uh, have set, uh, have selected a text from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 18, where it talks about sin, conflict, and expulsion from the church. And <laughs> most ministers and people don't like this. Um, maybe because if there's some saying that we church people have assimilated, Jesus saying, it's that one. Because man, we have been good for centuries. We have been expert at pointing the finger, telling people uh, where they are wrong, how they are wrong, and, and going to them and say a man and change. And when they refuse to change, well, we have excommunicated them. That's, that's part of our history. And there's so many occurrence of this. And we don't like that part of our history. We prefer, I don't know, in our church, we prefer to strive for harmony. Even if it's a phony one, we prefer it than conflict. Or, or when there's conflict or parents of conflict, we like to sweep it under the carpet. Or we will create an atmosphere that will lead people to leave without being asking. You know, we, we heard a congregation said, oh, LGBTQ communities, well, they, come, come, they can come here as long as they do this, 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 and that. We did not say, uh, please go. It, it's them we left. That's their choice. Yeah, that's, that's our churches sometimes. And sometimes we like to believe that in the story, we're the one who are right and look for those who have done wrong. But when it's us who have done something wrong, who have sinned, who have fell short of our call, and people come to us, how do we react? Do we listen? Or do we dismiss it? One of the great event or major, major event in the last few years for Canada has been the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And maybe we were not involved in this. Um, maybe, and for sure there were very good people who did ministry with the First Nation for, for, for since the beginning. Nevertheless, we have to admit that our denominations, our institution, the church, uh, it's not necessarily on the right side of history, if I may say. We were involved as an institution in assimilation, forced conversion. The story of the residential school is maybe the biggest example, but not the only one. And when we hear it, some of us are uncomfortable because, like I said, we don't like to admit that we were wrong or, or an institution we love so dearly could have made mistakes. But there's group, there's people come to us saying, yes, you did. And sometimes the temptation is said, well, we already apologize about this, you know, so many years ago. Maybe it's time to move on, you know. It's like what we teach our children in, in school. Yeah, at school, you know, like, you know, make up, shake hands and move on. But what happened when one part or both part are still hurt? And maybe this text come to importance because it's not about shaming, chastising, or, or looking for ways to expel people. This text, basically, it's about reconciliation. It's about restoring the community. Throughout the Bible, we, we encounter a God 
with people, uh, a God and a relationship with the people. And the people, uh, you know, forget to talk about God or look for another God. And God have all the reason to be angry at the people, let's face it. But God says, I still love you. Come back. You're important for me. And we have Jesus in the New Testament telling parable and stories about uh, the lost sheep, the prodigal son. And what's the basic the basic of the story? Is the shepherd, is the father saying, regardless of what I've done, I'm sorry, come back. I love you. The good news for us is despite all our mistakes, our sin, our shortcomings, we still have a chance. We still can change because we can listen. We can learn, we can involve, we can talk, we can start reconciliation. We can commit ourselves to make it right. We can look at our past or present, find the conflicts that are difficult to solve and say, we can try to do something together as a community. If we are humble enough, truthful enough, and respectful enough, that's the good news for us. Mistakes can be forgiven. Earth can be healed when the community come together. And that's what I hope you will discover this coming Sunday and those after it. That's it for today. I'm Stéphane Vermette the lectionary man, and until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.